Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Uh, Christmas was just the other day. I just got back from visiting the family for a week. So it's time for that time-honored tradition of the holiday haul. Uh, I don't ask for gifts. Uh, as a matter of fact, I kind of go out of my way to tell people not to get me stuff. Because, uh, as you've seen if you've been watching these, I've backed a bunch of Kickstarters and I have a bunch of stuff coming in uh, that I'm already not sure what I'm going to do with. So I tell people not to get me gifts. I really don't need uh, anything and I've bought myself more than enough stuff. Um, of course, that doesn't stop my family from buying me gifts. So while I appreciate that, uh, it's not stuff I need. I don't need stuff in most cases. Um, but I appreciate the gifts they give. So I'm going to share uh, the gifts with everyone here. So you can see, uh, you know, the sort of stuff that, that I, I don't mind getting it. Uh, I enjoy it. I like it. I just don't need it. Um, and that's not to sound ungrateful, but if everyone was independently wealthy, sure, no problem. I'm not big on gifts. I'm just not. Uh, so here are the things uh, that, that my family got for me. Uh, these first couple are from my grandmother. Uh, she hit up my Amazon wish list, uh, and she picked up uh, this book on popular ghosts. And uh, it's one of the ones I put on my wish list back when I was talking about ghost stuff uh, for Halloween. Uh, and, and it's uh, stories about um, various famous pop culture type uh, urban legend ghosts and everything like that, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, it, it has uh, stories in it um, about a lot of famous hauntings, about a lot of scholarship that's gone into uh, figuring out why some of these ghost stories are so popular, even if there's not necessarily any proof for it. So I'll be reading this, uh, and maybe I'll have it read in time for next Halloween. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. So that's the first thing. Uh, one of the other things uh, my grandmother got me off my uh, Amazon wish list is um, classic bad sci-fi movie, uh, Cherry 2000. Uh, that's, that's got uh, Melanie Griffith uh, in it as, uh, yeah, it's, uh, need a bounty hunter? She's your man. In the future, a man travels to the ends of the earth to find the perfect woman. In this fun, futuristic sci-fi adventure, Melanie Griffith is delightful and unflappable as a futuristic bounty hunter on a mission to find a robot replicant of a rich man's short-circuited wife. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, th this movie is uh, kind of cheesy. It's got some neat effects in it uh, for the time, uh, 1987. It, it's a very 80s sci-fi future. Uh, it's one I always enjoyed whenever I'd catch it on TV, so I threw it on my wish list. And now I own it, so it'll be a movie night sometime in the future. Speaking of movie nights... This is one of the other things uh, that I threw on my list. Uh, this is a series of films uh, that showed at AFI uh, earlier in this year, and I didn't have a chance to catch them. Uh, but I read about them, and they sound absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm not a big music guy by any stretch of the imagination, but I love hearing about the history of uh, music and the cultural impact that these different bands had and uh, you know their stories of coming together and coming up and the changes in the world that they propagated. I'm sure some of that comes from growing up down the street from the original Woodstock site. Uh, possibly one of the more world-changing well-known music events in the history of anywhere. Uh, but this is uh, the Decline of Western Civilization uh, collection of movies. Uh, and it's three different movies. And uh, this is... Uh, I'll read the back again. 
Uh, Penelope Spheris, uh, the decline of Western civilization was perceived as shocking and outrageous at the time of its original release in 1981. Parts 2 and 3 were no, no less extraordinary and unprecedented. Today, museums and educational institutions around the world present them as historically significant works of art, featuring some of the most influential and innovative musicians and groups of all time. Germs, Black Flag, X, Fear, Circle Jerks, Alice Cooper, Lemmy, Lemmy who just uh, died the, the other day. Um, so... Shout out to uh, to all the Motorhead fans out there. Uh, a lot of people uh, feeling that loss. Dude was 70, uh, suffering from all sorts of stuff, uh, fought right to the end, and put out songs uh, just a few months ago. Uh, definitely uh, a, a uh, important uh, piece of rock and roll history there. Uh, Poison and members of Aerosmith and Kiss, these riveting, unflinching, hardcore films adeptly captured the spirit of a major cultural phenomenon. Uh, so this is a collection of all three of those movies. Uh, it's got an extra little booklet with it. It's got some uh, new footage, some cleaned up scans, uh, all sorts of uh, audio commentary, uh, commentary by Dave Grohl. Uh, another uh, rock and roll legend uh, in his own right. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, finally sitting down and getting a chance to see uh, the decline of Western civilization and uh, getting a little bit more familiar with uh, a lot of those classic uh, rock things. Um, the other thing, uh, th this was a uh, completely random thing that my parents got for me. Uh, they must have been paying attention to uh, some photos I took around the apartment in my general decorating scheme. Uh, it's a little um, crystal skull. Uh, it's a little alienish, but it's uh, made out of a uh, semi-precious stone. Uh, they bought it. I like it. This one is uh, definitely one of those... Uh, surprise things that I would have never asked for, but will look really nice uh, sitting somewhere in here. Maybe uh, up on a shelf next to that bust of Vincent Price. Maybe next to one of my other skulls. Um, and uh, my sister uh, and and her family, uh, you know, don't uh, they know better than to really get me stuff? Because uh, the stuff I want's expensive, and yeah. Um, they got me this. What that is, is uh, that's my nephew. So my sister and her husband made this. Uh, he's, he's very popular uh, up in the hometown um, among my family. Uh, I'm sure you can see why. Uh, but now I've got that little picture of him that I'm going to have to find a place for. Uh, and that's uh, the bulk of the stuff uh, from Christmas. There were cards. There was everything like that. Uh, and then my parents, uh, being the parents that they are, kind of went all out on uh, on this last one. And, uh, well, I now have a uh, new thing to cook with. Uh, because mine has kind of fallen apart over the last ten years uh, that I've been using it regularly. So that's a uh, brand new George Foreman grill. Uh, with all of the different um, trays that go inside of it. So um, I'm going to have to uh, do a final cleaning and toss out the old one, uh, which lost its temperature dial a long time ago uh, and continues to drop screws on a uh, semi-regular basis. So I'm not sure how it's still being held together. Uh, it's also lost a bunch of the non-stick coating at this point, but I still use it all the time. So having this uh, this new one will be uh, good uh, in, in a bunch of different ways, I'm sure. I look forward to experimenting with it. Uh, maybe in the new year I'll share some of those experiments, uh, definitely on Instagram. Uh, maybe uh, a video or so. Uh, now, because I'm only... Uh, up in my hometown for a week around Christmas. My family also celebrates my birthday, which is in January. Um, and again, it's an excuse for them to give me things um, 
no matter how much I ask them not to. Uh, and this was the, uh, this year they kind of listened. So they only got uh, one little thing for me this year. And uh, that, that's this little uh, Pops uh, BB-8 uh, bobblehead. Uh, again, something that I wouldn't necessarily uh, go out and get for myself or uh, particularly ask for. Um, it's cute. I generally don't like the uh, Pop figures, their style, but uh, you can't go wrong with BB-8 because, well, he already kind of looks like that. So the little distortions that the Pop figures do... Um, don't particularly make BB-8 look any different, so that's good. I'm, I'm glad they didn't spend tons of money. Um, I've taken enough of their money over the years for school and, and everything like that. Um, so that's the, uh, that's the Christmas haul. Uh, and, and like I said, I'm happy to have all of this stuff. Uh, but I'm not big on gifts. Uh, I'm just not. So... Don't, I, I ask people not to worry about getting me gifts. Uh, I have enough stuff. I have plenty of stuff. Uh, do something else with your money. Don't spend it on me. Uh, enjoy it. Do something. You being happy, whoever you may be, if you care about me, you being happy is the most important thing to me. Um, and I suppose if giving me gifts makes you happy, I have to deal with that. Apparently, I uh, if uh, so, tell me, tell me down in the comments uh, what your favorite holiday gift of all time was, and uh, what kind of stuff uh, you want uh, for the next gift giving holiday that comes up, and uh, put that down in the comments. We'll do a whole big discussion on on gift giving at some point, maybe. I don't know. Uh, if you like the stuff I talk about, give me a thumbs up down there. If uh, you are subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you are not subscribed, subscribe so you can get in on the conversation uh, and get notified when these things come out. Uh, it's going to start being a little more sporadic in the new year. It's not going to be daily like this because uh, this was crazy. Uh, and if you know anyone else who likes the who would like the stuff I talk about, share this or one of my other videos with them and let them come into the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.